me explain to you guys why no divisions in these conferences equals healthy college football. You might think you already know this, but let me give you some graphics to really show you. Let's first look at the Big 12 if they went back to North and South divisions. Now you would have two clear front runners in Oklahoma and Texas. Wouldn't be able to see each other again after that Red River showdown. Moving on to the ACC where it doesn't look that bad if they still had the Atlantic and Coastal divisions. We still could see a Florida State, North Carolina or a Florida State, Miami. If Louisville would keep knocking off games and make it to the conference championship, back in this era, they wouldn't be able to play Florida State this year. Now, in the SEC, we've been pretty lucky. We got Alabama and Georgia, who usually play each other in the SEC finals, so it makes it look pretty even. But if for some reason the wheels would fall off for Georgia and the next best teams would be Alabama, Ole Miss, LSU, in this style, they wouldn't be able to play each other in the conference championship game. Over in the Pac-12, still think it looks pretty healthy if they still did their old divisions of the North and South. In my personal opinion this year, I think USC is a little worse than Oregon and Washington. If we still had these divisions, we would not be able to see Oregon and Washington play each other in the Pac-12 championship game. Now we go to the Big Ten. This issue is most obvious. You got for sure three teams better than the best team in the West, and you could debate that Maryland is better than Wisconsin. That makes it so all these four teams can't play each other in the Big Ten Championship game. It leaves a lot to be desired. By the time next year starts, there'll be no more divisions in any of these conferences, which will be exciting because we'll get the best two teams in each conference battling it out at the end of the year.